Hello, 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 hello. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hi, everyone. I'm so glad that you guys are here today again. Yep, pop up. Y'all know what it is. It's podcast time. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so glad that you guys are here. Um, if you can, go ahead and like and share this broadcast. We have a dynamic topic that we're going to talk about today. And I have an awesome, awesome, awesome fitness trainer, um, nutritionist. And he's also my brother. And guess what, y'all? He's a believer. Amen. Um, Ish Mel Cox is on the line with us today. We're going to bring him in in just a moment. But I want you guys to go ahead and share this broadcast. Please go ahead and share this broadcast. Welcome to Fighting the Good Fight. If you have not already followed us and subscribed, I'm telling you, you're missing something, okay? So we don't want you to miss anything. We want to make sure that you get all of the information that we're giving out. We want to make sure that you have some encouraging words that help motivate your day so please go ahead on fighting the good fight podcast and subscribe okay we'll make sure that we put all of that information below um but we're gonna jump right in okay because we have a dynamic topic the topic tonight is entitled challenge yourself to change challenge yourself to change and i have to be honest guys this thing hit home for me so we're gonna dive in my brother is on the line fit with ish is here what's up ishmael what up sis how you doing it's good i'm to be doing here, all right i'm glad to be on this is i feel a little special right now you know, oh, you know bro you special. already know you yeah. already know what it is uh, already know so um the topic as we already said is challenge yourself to change right um and we're talking about really our health right and we're talking about um that motivation to get us get our bodies moving right we all everybody can try and change their diet but it's something about this workout and this exercising and trying to get that body to move that just don't want to you know you just don't want to do what your mind tell it to do so before we dive into it can you tell us a little bit about who you are what you represent, where you come from, how you get where you at. Absolutely, absolutely. First, yeah, like I said, it's an honor, man. It's an honor to be able to just um, be in a place to even explain and help people in this time of quarantine. Um, from myself personally, I started about four years ago. Four years ago, I'm um, training at just a Planet Fitness and um, just was applying for jobs and then um, ended up learning the business side of it. And it was really just a favor of God how everything ended up working out. And um, right now I'm an online personal trainer <clears throat> and I pretty much help people uh, lose weight, tone up by combining Zumba with resistance training. Mm -hmm. So um, my clients really love having fun. A lot of my clients as well, they're, they're, uh, they're in a place where they're moving around. So mm -hmm. even though they're in quarantine, they're used to being active or doing something with the kids or whatnot. So I call them sometimes my, my busy bodies. So... <laughs> What I do is I try to allow them to prioritize fitness, prioritize mm -hmm. wellness, prioritize meal prep. Um, and what I do is I, I combine the workouts for just maybe 30 minutes, you know, mm -hmm. so it's like it's like that. It's, it's like super quick. Um, and we just make sure it's high intensity and uh, we go right about our day. We go right about our day. Sweet, sweet. So you've been doing this for a total of four years now? Four years. So okay. I was training at Planet Fitness, I want to say for like, Maybe uh, about two other years, and I've been in business for yeah about a uh, year, two years. Wow! Two years. So, what made you kind of jump into business with it? Like you started off looking for a job, and then God right. made you the job. Like you are the job. Oh, so, <laughs> what? How did you get from from just wanting to, you know, be a part of somebody else's vision to creating your own? Yeah, that's something I'm still trying to figure out how I got here. <laughs> Um, I think that with any call of God, you know, sometimes you to try to explain it, you know, that it's a call. So right. to even try to say, hey, you know what, this is how I got here. It wasn't just on my works. Um, but mm -hmm. I can say definitely um, what really started uh, evoking and, and, and um, pulling on me was the fact that um, I grew up in a football family, grew up in a family mm -hmm. that was just um, sports driven. I'm talking every Sunday. Um, I'm talking practice. I'm talking about going to the field with my brothers, cousins and all that stuff growing up. Growing up in that family and growing up in a sports-minded family, um, it really just set my dreams very high right. um, when it came to playing football. And um, I ended up going to Aquinas, to a good school and whatnot. And um, lo and behold, I ended up uh, breaking my shoulder. Mm -hmm. So it just kept coming out of place. And that was just, that was horrific for me. 
because nobody told me about what happens when sports players don't play no more. How their physical identity is really, it's, it's in the balance of who they are. I, mm -hmm. I was playing football maybe from about five to about, I want to say 21, 22. I'm 25 now. So that's all I knew was football. Wow. And um, after that, um, I'm like, let me get a job now. I'm, I'm no longer in college. I had no degree at the time. And I'm like, okay, like something got to get I got to find mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. um, um, and I'm like, God, I, I got to be honest. I'm bitter towards you. I'm mm -hmm. mad. Why this happening to me? Um, I could have did something with this, you know? And um, really where I fell into was just a place of depression, like mm -hmm. super depression. And it was, it was bad because really my bitterness turned into anger towards other people, frustration. It turned into different coping things, rather it be, you know, marijuana, rather it be females. Right. Um, I'm sitting here before you to say that God is, he's reversed it. He's reversed it. He's allowed that same uh, situation to now be the same hope that I give people in, um, in um, joy and peace um, that I begin to just exude through giving a service, through fitness and through, you know, eating right and staying accountable. So that's really my story of allowing people who, who have uh, a story, you know, but letting letting that glory also come in and say, you know what? It's Start so nothing now, ish. It's a, <laughs> it's a reason. It's a reason I went through what I went through, you know. And I think that um, really being able to fight through that season of of um, feeling uncomfortable, feeling obscure, and that's what I was going through. It was just so obscure for me. And I'm like, I gotta, I gotta find something to get comfortable. I gotta do something. I gotta go back to something. And I think that a lot of people are going through that when it comes to their health and their, and their wellness, because it's mm. like, I tried to go on Google. I tried YouTube. I tried diets. I tried certain right. things. And it's like, on top of that, I've had kids on top of that. You know, um, I'm not working right now. Whatever stressors that come along with that, it really um, it allows the fitness component in myself to be a, um, a pillar in their life mm. to where it becomes a lifestyle as opposed to, you know what, two months, from now, three months from now, I'm going right back to my same habits. So right. it really, really allows that to come together. You're actually speaking volumes right now. And that leads me kind of to my next question, because even in this time of um, quarantine, um, I've always, well, before the pandemic even happened, you know this about me. It's like, I was always trying, I was, I had a goal in my mental, you know, like I'm trying to get healthy. I'm trying to do better. Um, but it's just this body, like, and, and you got to have, you got to be driven. You got to, it got to be, like you said, you said something that was so key about prioritizing. It has to be a priority because, yeah. um, um, if it's not, it's just going to be you, one day you up, one day you down. When summer come around, you try to work out. When the winter time come, time come around, you eating everything in the house. Um, and I feel like that with this pandemic, it helped me to be a little more intentional with what I'm doing to my body. Not only do I have children, right, and I want to be there for them. And I want to be able to run down the street with them at least. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I still want to make sure that I am a holistic woman. You know, that I'm holistic, you know, and I'm not just out here. So it can be very easy to slip into this lazy stage. I'm telling yep. you, it's easy. Yep, yep. It's so easy. Like, to get yep. lazy and be like, you know what? I ain't had no rest like this. And I don't know when. I'm just about to sit here and enjoy the moment, right? But what mm -hmm. tips can you give to those um, who may need a little extra push? who knows and they've been contemplating in their mind and in their spirit that they have to get healthy um that they have to start somewhere right and they even probably tried a few things but they just come back to this same old lazy state what tips can you give to them absolutely so you're touching on something that um i talk to my clients about and i call it um knowing your why mm -hmm. knowing your why because it never gets to a point where, where um even in life where we get to a place and it's like we're we're we should never get complacent of where we are. There should always be more and more, more goals once we reach other goals, right? Mm -hmm. So knowing your why, you mentioned just a couple second, seconds ago about you want to be able to be with your children. You want to be able to have fun, not run out of energy, you know? Right. Some clients may come and say, I don't want to be tired going up no stairs. It's, it's ridiculous. Right. Right. You know, right. I was once doing this and now I can't even do certain things. So that really encompasses the why. So what I just gave you, right, was my story. It was why it started me for fitness. Right. So my job is to now see what's your story. Not to get in your business, but to say, listen, there's going to be days where I'm not going to want to work out, right? There's going to be days, regardless of the fact, that I'm not going to want to eat right. I'm going to want to go for them Oreos. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's, it's late at night. I've been doing good all day. I want to reward myself. You know what I mean? We 
could find anything, you know, to 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 um, to try. But at the same time, I think that we 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 sometimes need an accountability system. So what I'm getting at is that when we know our why, let me just give you an example of what I'm saying. So some people may start off and they say, um, you know, what my why is I want to lose 10 pounds. And I'm like, okay, what's the reason for losing 10 pounds, right? And they're like, okay, I want to lose 10, 10 pounds because I want to be able to uh, be with my children, you know, for us to have, you know, a good time together, right? And then they may say, you know what, on top of that, I want to look good for my husband. So now watch this. They went from losing 10 pounds to wanting to look good for their husband. So now what we do is we write that down and we say, listen, on those days that we don't want to stay fit, we don't want to, you know, stay consistent. I wrote my why down and that why is so powerful because you know what it is? It, it keeps us in a place of, um, what's the word? Consistency, but a deeper, a better word for that would be fighting back. Sometimes we, we get to a place of when it comes to health and wellness of like, I've come, I'm better than what I started off with. So we can get to a place where mentally it can, it can get a little bit complacent. It can be like, you know what? I am trying, but at the same time, I'm the only one holding myself accountable. You know what I mean? So they ain't going to really know that I, I was supposed to work out two days ago. <laughs> but I'm going to post when I've worked out. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that it's something. It's better. It's better than what I was. So um, that's part of the accountability of the why. But I think also it's a deep dive is what I'm getting at. You got to have a deep reason to want to do this. So watch this. Let me give you another reason, right? So the depression thing when, you know, God really just helped me with that, healed me from that, right? But um, now he has me in a place where he's, I want to now be a light to people through fitness and whatnot, because also God has said, I, I want you, I want this to be, I want to bless you, Ish. Watch this. Says, he said he wanted to bless me. So I'm like, okay, what that mean? Like, what's that looking like? Money? What? Which? And he was like, you know what? I want to, <laughs> listen, that's like a lottery ticket. Like, okay, I'll pull that. I'll get that. I'll get that blessing, Lord. Right? <laughs> Whatever you try to do in my life. Do it. <laughs> but um, what, what happened was that um, the new goal was then once he once he gave me business, right? Once he gave me a little bit of the, the clients and whatnot that I prayed for, it was like, okay, now treat your wife in a different way. So then God really allowed me to say, you know what? Not only is, is was I trying to do just the, the business aspect, I'm trying to make you whole. So what... So watch, watch what I'm saying, right? It, it got real deep for me because now my why changed. My why changed, sis. And, here, and here's this. When your why changed, that's when you go from that faith, that faith, faith to faith and that glory to glory because you ain't give up when, you, when those days you wasn't, you wasn't feeling it. You know what I'm saying? You kept persevering. You kept going at it. So again, it went from the depression thing to now I need you to be, I need you to, to love on people and not just be in business all day. Hit your mom up, hit your dad up, call, talk to your sisters, talk to your brothers, and be and be a servant, not just because of certain uh, um, obligations, because of clients and, and whatnot. But let me make you whole now. So now the new the new why, it it, it allows me to keep it going. Cause watch this, I've I've been getting up around like uh, six or seven. Now, I'm an early riser, but um I'm like the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get up in the morning. I'm gonna brush my teeth. I'm gonna wash my face. And I'm going to just get out the house. And I'm going to just walk. I got to put my mask on. Cool. But I'm going to just walk. And I've been doing that consistently. But every day, guess what I've been thinking about? My why. I, my why. That's so, and the biggest piece of advice is literally write down on a piece of paper, whatever your goal is. Right under that, put why. Whatever you answer with, why. Why does that mean a lot to you? Tell me more. Ask yourself. Tell, tell yourself more about that. Why is that important to you? Because really, the, the, the physical, the physique really does something or is, a, is an exact replicate of what you want to see happen inner. What you want to see happen um, that has nothing to do with fitness, but you want to use this as a way to say, I'm making that step forward. So, but you know said some, you know your why. Know your why. So, when you know your why, what I like that you said, and see, bro, you about to, you about to, you about to preach in 2.2 seconds. Like, I'm, I'm, you like, I'm about to give you a whole mic in the pulpit. Um, but no, for real, you said something that was so, so um, powerful. You said, once you figure out your why, it was like after you um, been have been consistent with your why and reminding yourself of why you're doing what you're doing, God literally expands your reach, right? 
right? So you you reach in for one thing and you think that the blessing is in the fact of you staying consistent with just that one thing. And God mm -hmm. like, nah, like once mm -hmm. you reach here, it's more. I got so much. Listen, eyes haven't seen and ears haven't mm -hmm. heard. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we're going to go to question number two. Um, <laughs> amen. That was, that was awesome and that was powerful. So for me, if I can be a little transparent, I feel like, I do pretty good um, with eating. Like, my kids be like, Mom, you drinking that salad water, you know? Um, and this is my, my routine. Like, um, when I do get into that place where I am actually motivated and I'm driven, I found there is a cycle that I need your help on, okay? There's a cycle that I go into, and I'm just like, oh, my God. So it's like I get up, I'm, I'm ready, I'm working out, I got some sweat coming down my face. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. I'm, I'm doing it. And I'll look in the scale, and I'm like, boom i dropped three pounds this week or boom i dropped five pounds this week and then all of a sudden i'm just like stagnant like i'm not going nowhere my weight ain't going nowhere you know and i'm like wait a minute i know i'm working hard now i can see the sweat now if i <laughs> if i ain't sweating right, i ain't doing right. nothing but i know i'm feeling right. I'm feeling myself. Can you explain to me a little bit of why that happens? And then what do I do um, to kind of get out of that place where I feel like, okay, I'm working hard, but now I don't see me losing no more weight. Like what, in your opinion, what is happening and what can we do to get over that hump? Yeah, that's, that's the, um, you can come get fit with this. That's what you can do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honestly, though. Know, that's the, the biggest thing with that is you're talking about a plateau. And so that's where a lot of people have a standstill at, meaning where, what do I do now? You know, so a perfect example of what you're talking about, people come to me, sis, and they'll be like, all right, first two weeks, three weeks, a month, I lost 10 pounds. But like, what's next? How do I get, you know, rather be arms, rather be belly? How do I, how do I go to that next step? So to answer that question, um, it's such a broad question, but what I can say is this, is I can say that, um, it takes a uh, knowing of how to reverse something. So let me give you a couple of examples of what I mean. So um, not to get too termy on you and talk about, you know, get too scientific with it. But an example of this is um, a term called insulin resistance. If you want to look anything up, y'all, as um, far as a term that we, a lot of us have as Americans, it's a term called insulin resistance, resistance, insulin resistance. And what that means is that our, bo our body's blood sugars, we're like spiking a lot of times. So like carbs, carbs, is like an American thing, like every pizza, your cookies, your, your burger with the fries, a lot of carbs. You're like, listen, <laughs> so a lot of that is, um, can really result into this term called insulin resistant. So that's just having, again, blood sugar spiking, going back down. And then now our body is, is having so much to store, but it's not processing when we are eating correctly. So, Here's the thing about something like that. If that hasn't been addressed yet, let's put on some, let's say also um, your body doesn't process dairy very well. Your body doesn't process gluten very well. These are all things we got to start throwing in the balance of like, okay, maybe that's the next step. So I'm going to give you a client, of, actually a real life client of mine. So she's dropped, I want to say um, 20 pounds, right? And she's like, okay, the last thing I need to do is I need to get this. I want to tone my stomach. That's it, bitch. That's all I want to do. Now watch this. She did intermittent fasting. She did this thing called carb cycling. She's done um, um, apple cider vinegar challenges. I can name like five things she's done to get to where she's at. And she's like, but why am I not? <laughs> why is it not toned the way I want to? So for somebody like her, um, it really can be now instead of intermittent fasting, she may want to go for more eating periodically throughout the day to keep her metabolism sped up. So it's really a, it's really a case to case basis. You know, like it's, that's the one thing about nutrition is not a one size fit all. It's going to take like an assessment to kind of know exactly. But what I will say is that a, um, a mineral that you also can start looking up is potassium. Potassium is like the cure for insulin resistance. So, Potassium helps regulate blood sugar levels, like amazingly. So like your bananas, your dates, your prunes, your tomato juice, um, your dried fruits, these are really good and are high in potassium. Um, and then also your leafy greens. We all know about the veggies and, and how we got to keep those in, involved. Um, but that's something that I would say as far as nutrition wise, that's really where a lot of time it stems down to 
it's those habits. So to put it all in a nutshell, is getting together what habits we have. So like another example, what I said about mentioning the why, write down your habits, you know, write down your habits. And on top of that, what I would say is something practical, write how you feel throughout the day. Do like a food journal, food diary, you know, um, not to say too, too, uh, TMI, but are you constipated? Are you bloated? You know, your body's telling us, our bodies tell us things throughout the day, you know? Um, so I would say, make a food journal or a food diary, see how your body's responding to certain things. And then um, on top of that, what I would do is I would try to take out like some gluten, some dairy. I would try different things. Have, you know, have, have a stab at it maybe like uh, a couple times a week before you just take it completely out, you know? But I would say start working on those things that we may have not tried yet. Um, eating like, again, like that potassium, the foods like that, high in nutrients, foods, definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm really getting a lot out of this, bro. Like, I'm loving awesome. it. I, I'm actually, because awesome. it's showing that, and it goes, again, right to our next question, because a lot of times we feel like if we just work out, right, then that that's the cure to all. You know, if we can, yeah. we, we put so much focus on working out, and when I'm driven, I'm like, I'm driven, and I'm like, I'm working out. But then I get discouraged because I don't have that other learning factor, um, when it comes down to dieting. So uh, the next question was, you know, is it healthy to work out without having a consistent diet? Um, or do they kind of work hand in hand in your opinion? Or do you feel like, you know, it, or is it by case by case, like what you said, like some people can go and exercise and not, you know, have to deal with their diet. Like how does that balance out? Yeah, that's a great question. So for men, we have more testosterone. So like resistance training, going at that, that visceral fat, the fat that's like right under the belly or whatnot, um, that's going to be like, it's going to be easier for us. Women, on the other hand, have more uh, fat storages because of childbirth and whatnot, okay? So more estrogen is within their body, which we know, right? So they may need more of the high intensity combined with resistance. So to say that, you know, you can get healthy without nutrition or you can get healthy without fitness. Uh, yeah, you can you can say that it can work to a certain extent, but you're going to plateau. Let's just say it like that. You're going to plateau because even with nutrition, you I've had a lot of people like runners, especially people who run a lot and have done triathlons and all of that. Um, that ain't me. Right? That ain't what I do, but kudos to them. But they have come to me and they, um, and they have had like saggy skin of their arms, but they have never put weights in their hands. So for them, they need some weights in their hand. You get what I mean? So for someone like yourself, your question was more like, let me just make sure I'm, I'm answering it. You're saying like, what would someone do to, in a sense, can you kind of rephrase it again? If if I'm working out, like, can you, can you, is it healthy to um, exercise and work out without having a, a balanced diet? Um, or, you know, can do you find that that is okay? Um, or should there be like a balance in between the two? Got you. Got you. I lost my whole train of thought when I was talking. It's all girl. good. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. So, so um, 80%, definitely. 80, 90% is all nutrition. That's without a doubt. Um, the good thing about my clients that what I do with them is I say, okay, now every two weeks, I'm going to sit down. Like how we talking right now, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to ask you, what's the nutrition been like? Because that's that's where the results are going to come. So um, a perfect example of this would be like someone who's in the gym, right? They working super hard, super hard. They going in, they in there for an hour and a half, just going in, out, right? Then they go home, but they got terrible eating habits. So they, they used to the pizza, they used to the McDonald's, right? They used to the candy. They are literally not going to see their results like pretty much at all. They're going to plateau very quickly. Let me just say it like that and not going to see the results. So there are some people who definitely do that. They work out and they say, I can eat whatever I want to eat, and which is not, you don't want to go that route at all, at all. And then um, there's also times where people just need different ideas of what to eat and whatnot. So my, the answer to the question, I would say that nutrition definitely needs to get to a place where um, I can establish good habits, good habits, you know, because I have for my clients, Sunday is our, cheat, is our cheat meal, you know, but what I tell them is that it's never that we, we, uh, it's bad to have a cheat meal. Is that that cheat meal turns into a cheat day or two cheat days and it turns into three cheat days and now it's a week. You get what I mean? So really it's about consistency with both, with both, with both. Because again, the fitness is going to be important because you want to stay toned. 
You want to stay toned, your physique, your bone structure, your, your muscle strength, all you want it. You want to keep that from fitness involved. Nutrition, as far as chronic diseases, I'm talking diabetes, especially us black people. Like, we got to be so careful that we see so many of our people die because of chronic, like high blood pressure, um, heart attack, strokes. We see all that. And a lot of times, it because we eating so much of the ribs and whatnot at our at our barbecues. And yes, we 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 um we see that happen in other ethnicities and whatnot. But specifically us black people, you know, we're we're not we're not um even educated on that to the degree we need to be educated. To be honest with you, so um it's what we're putting into the body. I'm not a vegan, um all natural plant based guy, but I would definitely say that way of using food as your medicine. Is something that's vital and it's a principle um, for even if you're still consuming meat like myself, um, you, you want to use the food as your medicine rather than what the doctor prescribing you. Because the doctor going to prescribe you certain just to keep their job. They ain't doing it. They ain't telling you that you can take some remedy, some tea at home that's going to cure all that. It got all that, all that anti-inflammatory properties. They're going to say, take this opioid. You know, take this here. Matter of fact, you need another one. So I would say as far as the nutrition and fitness component, you need both. You need both, and that's where the accountability really comes in because you can't have one without the other, without a doubt. you got to have both of them. And I would say nutrition itself, like we talked earlier, because it's not a one-size-fits-all, your nutrition not going to be all together in just a year. That's just reality. You know what I mean? Um, for me, I'll be completely honest with you, I know i got to work out to stay right, too, because i got a sweet tooth. So because i got a sweet tooth, I'll just be home. i eat a whole pack of Oreos, and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to work out. But now, with not going to no gym, I'm like, all right, hold on. I'm going to get a couple. And I'm going to make sure I get the move. You know what I mean? So it's certain things that um, are easier. Like for my wife, oh, she's she's good with the whole rice and beans. For me, I need I need meat. I need something, a good source of protein just mentally for me. So it's certain triggers I think we have as well. We want to be, you know, mindful of. But at the same time, because we know we're strong in certain areas, because to be honest with you, people never come in. Two things. People never come in. One, eating too much. They always come in eating too little. Isn't that crazy? You would think we're overweight because we eat too much. It's actually because we eat too little. And then we, we try to we try to like almost fast our way to say, oh, hopefully this, this get out of our body. Come on now. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> Don't be telling that ass. Don't be telling that ass now. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then and then and once we start incorporating more of the spinach, more of this, these natural foods, it becomes our medicine. It becomes our medicine. So that's huge for me when it comes to like the, the nutrition. And because, again, it's not a one, one size fit all. I may be good with chicken and broccoli. That may not work well with you. You know what I mean? So we got to work through what exactly we have to do specifically for that person. I love yeah. this. I love, I love it. I love it. I love it because I feel like, and, and for me, it's more of, and you kind of, you, you kind of said it earlier. It's about learning your, learning yourself. This is a self discovery. Like we go and no shade to any of, you know, um, people that are doing like spiritual meditations and all of those things for self awareness. Yeah. But I feel mm -hmm. like if we just listen to our body, you said it, you said our body is telling us a whole lot of stuff and we yeah. just ignore it you know we ignore it and ignore it and what scripture come to mind is my people perish for the lack of knowledge Not and i feel enough. like that is even in the case with our physical bodies like we find an ache and immediately we go into the hospital you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. i ain't even gonna lie I, I, my mm -hmm. knees was aching i was like i already diagnosed myself bro i was like yeah. i got i got i got early arthritis in me. <laughs> <laughs> and come to find out, Kima, no, are you watching what you what you're eating? You put on more weight. When was the last time you got on the scale? Your bones ain't all, you know, like youthful like it used to be. You right. know what I'm saying? So listening to our bodies, I love that you said that in the in the component of exercising and health. That is, that is awesome. You know what I mean? That is that is so awesome. So last question. Actually, I got another question from um, one of our guests, and I'm hoping that you can you can do this. I'm going to alleviate the question that I had and bring this in. So um, one of our listeners want to know, what are your thoughts on the keto diet? What are your thoughts on the keto diet? I actually tried it uh, for like a few weeks, and I, I, didn't, I didn't know where to go. I, I, felt, I felt guilty by eating all this bacon, and, you know, <laughs> it just didn't feel right. What are your thoughts about that? Absolutely. So um, <clears throat> I, I believe that the keto, again, goes back to what are you struggling with? 
Are you struggling with eating carbs? If you're struggling with eating carbs, the keto might just work for you. Now, when it comes to these diets, though, <clears throat> like what you're talking about, Kima, is that I have to know also, can I sustain this? Because really, I don't want a diet. I want a lifestyle. So, so to just say, hey, you know what? Let me just give you actual a, a statistic. I think it's, um, it's crazy to me, um, but it's very true, is that 50% of people who lose weight, they gain it back. And watch this, 70% of those people who gain it back, they gain more weight than they originally started with. So we're talking about the keto. So <clears throat> for the keto, you want to stay in ketosis. And this is where you're burn, you're staying like in a fat burning state. You know, there's um, uh, cheap uh, strips you can buy to know if you're in ketosis. But here's the thing. If you don't know this, right, and you're trying to do keto, you're, you're really going to struggle when it comes to getting all the information. So when it comes to diet, keto is a perfect example. You want to get everything um, about it. Now, my personal opinion on it, I love sugar. I love sugar. So keto is like, it's amazing for me. Keto mixed with intermittent fasting, oh, I'm set. I'm good. Um, now, someone who doesn't eat meat, you get what I mean? Like they they may not like the keto. They make that's too much fat for them. They want to go for more of the lean, uh, rather be tofu or things like that. So my thoughts on keto, I love it personally. I'm just being honest with you. I love it because watch this. I know my cravings. So if you feel like your cravings are the pastas, are the breads, right? Which are a lot of people's cravings. It is something I would definitely say um, attempt. But watch this though. After that first two weeks, right? First two weeks, I want you to realize, um, or again, this is where that food journal comes in. How are you feeling? How is your body feeling? Because a lot of times, um, me personally, um, I give you a quick tip. When I eat meat or when I eat protein, let's say if it's eggs, um, and uh, let's say if it's uh, um, instead of like oatmeal, when I eat eggs in the morning, I'm more satiated. I'm more, I'm ready for whatever. As opposed to eating like a, a, a oatmeal or something um, that's like still, it's more carb. So my point is, is that I would suggest with the keto is try to incorporate more protein and healthy fats into your, your lifestyle rather than um, eating like the oatmeal in the morning, the sandwich for, for uh, lunch, the rice for dinner. You get what I mean? We, we are so used to the carbs in the meals that we don't realize that, hey, I can grab a, a whole head of lettuce, put some ground beef or whatever in it, make my own salad, put some rice on it, and then don't, and literally, if I do the rice, I don't have to do the uh, the bread. It's better than the bread. Buying some brown rice, some quinoa. There's certain things that we can, like, put some hacks. So I think uh, keto is great for being able to switch some stuff up if you are uh, struggling with the, the carb situation. So I love that question. Um, I would say, again, is it sustainable? If it's not sustainable, that's not it for you. <laughs> Don't stick with it. Don't stick with it. Well, it sounds like, man, we need to, we, we, listen, if you don't know by now and you need more, he's, what he's saying is you need to examine yourself. And the only way you're going to be able to do that, you need to sign up for a consultation with Fit With Ish, okay? <laughs> because he will be able to get you on the right track. There is, I like what you said, right. there is not a one size fit all technique you gotta you gotta incorporate your habits you gotta incorporate your body you gotta incorporate your lifestyle you gotta incorporate your budget because <laughs> exactly. eating healthy is expensive exactly. okay uh, like i almost want to go and buy some land and just build my own farm like for real right. like it's right. crazy um, so one last question, one last question and we done. And you kind of touched on it a little bit earlier when you were talking about the accountability aspect. And I like if you can dive in just a little bit deeper with that, because I feel like a lot of us feel like we got to have an accountability partner, right? Mm -hmm. We're not going to go exercise unless we got, we call up sister girl or we call up our dude and we like, yo, let's go ahead and work it out. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll have that drive. Um, do you think that that's a reasonable or realistic excuse to have, you know, a, a, for us to wait for somebody to start motivating ourselves, or do you think that there should be um, a different type of drive that we should have within ourselves? Like, does that make sense? Absolutely. That's a, it's so crazy. You asking that question. A lot of people who come to me, they come because they may have just got out of a relationship. They come because um, they, um, they're always with their kids and they, they don't have any personal life when it comes to just investing them to themselves. Um, so when it comes to having an accountability partner, I can use that, but only for so long. Meaning, 
someone going to the gym or eating right um, shouldn't affect me to the point where I'm a, where I'm gonna do it or I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna do it regardless. So the perfect example for that is literally someone saying, "Boom!" Like I just got our relationship right, and unfortunately, you know, this is where I'm at with it. But I finally get to focus on me, and I think that that mindset is what is so key. It's like you know what? No matter what happens, I'm gonna make sure that I put this together. And watch this. It goes right back to the top. That's a why. It goes right back to the why. Because if, if that, that why will drive you way farther than your will will. You get what I'm saying? Then your, that why is going to drive you. That why ain't going to stop. That why going to keep you going. It's going to keep you up. It's going it's gonna, to it's gonna be implanted in your brain. It's, it's going to stay there. It's not going to go nowhere. Losing 10 pounds, what, what happens when, that, when that's gone? What happens? So the accountability piece, um, let me be transparent. My wife, oh, yeah. Um, Listen, baby, I, I need to work out. I use, I still use her as an accountability partner is what I'm getting at. So let's do it. Let's walk. Let's do something. Um, but before she come home, I've already worked out. Before she's come home, I've already cooked my breakfast. I've already done certain things. So I think that if we can take something from that, the, the client, right, who may be single now and myself who's married, there's still an individual that has nothing to do with nobody else but me picking myself up and being able to say, you know what, this is what I'm going to do for ish. This is what I'm going to do because I know I've been waiting too long. I've been procrastinating for too long. I want my confidence back. These are all whys, by the way. Right. I want to I want to be able to play with my kids. Again, it comes right back to that why. I want to be able to to have that dream, um, you know, man or dream woman, but I know I got to be a certain at a certain place right. to, to want something like that. And I'm like, you know what? Nothing is wrong with that. It is nothing wrong with saying, hey, you know what? I want somebody or I want someone to be there in it with me, but I know it's not going to start unless I'm in it. Right. You get what I'm saying? Um, right. it, it, yeah, yeah. I can definitely talk about that. Awesome. But, That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. I love it. So it all goes back to the why, guys. You have to be willing to confront the whys. And sometimes the whys, it, because it don't make sense to you, you almost ashamed of even writing it down. You know what I'm saying? Or because it seemed like you've tried to do it for so long, you end up, you know, kind of talking yourself out of the why, you know what I mean? And you're yeah. implementing other reasons of why you want to do it. Sometimes it ain't because you want to lose 10 pounds, you know what I mean? But because you worked on one why so long, you never got results, you yeah. switching it up, you know? So it's all about being healthy holistically. And that's what I love that you're teaching right now. It's like, it's not just fitness. It's not just nutrition. It's not just having an accountability partner. It's about your holistic approach it's it's about you it's about your mind your body and your soul yes. like that's what it's all about so i love it y'all if y'all have not looked up fit with ish i'm telling you you might want to do that today okay can i touch Let, on that real quick yes go ahead so so you said um you mentioned about the uh about how sometimes we try something and it may have not have went the best like i want to let y'all know i understand that that really a lot of times it's about timing it's about timing. And it's, it's, it's a reality that, that I see myself go through. I see, you know, my clients go through that sometimes it, it was a lot going on in that season of my life. You getting what I'm saying? I, matter of fact, I did try, but that was all I had. I was already going to eat. You, you follow what I'm saying? It was, it, was, it was so much of me to just put that and add that to something that was already full that I felt that was full. So when clients come in, it's, I want them to have that, that breath of fresh air. Like I can breathe again. You know, there was someone I talked to and they were like, I was just moving and moving and so much was going on. I just became numb. And I'm like, wow, like this is this is you breathing. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate this opportunity, you know, because again, sometimes the timing is just, it's just so hectic, you know? And thank God for something like this to happen where there, there are certain people who can now rest and say, you know what? I need to get back into this. I need to, uh, to like you said, it's not, it's not even just about it, the 10 pounds no more. It's not even about just the, just the physique no more. It's more about like what's being revealed to me so I can heal. Because there's certain things that we, we want to we wanna get better in. We want to we wanna feel better about, you know. So I just wanted to touch on that. That is, it's, it's one about timing for a lot of people, even for myself. It's about timing. Um, and I'll say it like this, with about the timing piece, just because it didn't work once, don't mean it won't work the next time. You know what I'm saying? Mine, like, that's good. Just because, just because things didn't happen 
um, the way you wanted it to happen the first time, the second time, the third time, don't mean that fourth time it won't just it won't just go out. It, it won't it won't just explode. It won't just work for your good, you know. So I saw something that was um what was the quote? It was something about um about success, and it was about how success is someone who 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 continues to fa to fail but doesn't lack zeal. Mm, someone who continues to fail but doesn't, doesn't lack zeal. Like That's good. They'll fail over and over and over and over, but they know something coming. Something is Come on. on. They they not gonna stop. They're not gonna let this stop them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it is so much just like the word of God as well. Mm -hmm. So for anyone rather, you know, I do for people who may be faith based, may not, but just showing that love on them, just letting that light mm -hmm. shine and allowing him to say, Hey, listen, I had my own thing of depression. I had my own thing to fight with with lust. Yeah. I had my own thing to fight with pornography. Yeah. I had my own thing to fight with weed. You know what I'm saying? And by me, by you seeing what I'm doing and where I'm at now, come on now. Right. I ain't got to think about how God and his glory come is. Come on. Is, is, I don't got to brag on nothing. I'm just here for you. You know what I mean? So I think that, again, being sensitive also to the people um, who I come across with of like their stories, you know? Mm -hmm. I hear so many different things about just, again, a lot of times they come down to the timing. Is that you know what I asked my mate asked my hey why are you want to train her six months right now as opposed to six months from ago six months ago, and they and they can they can talk for hours about right, the reason right. for it you know what I mean yeah. so it shows you that timing is so huge so huge so I just That's wanted good. to share that with y'all you know don't don't think just because again it didn't it didn't happen again that it won't it won't work this time so I would say just keep trying keep trying and don't give up. Beautiful. Bro, we can go on and on and on real quickly. And I'm we, we really gonna be done real quick though. I'm chilling. I, I'm good. <laughs> I wanna I wanna encourage those. You said something about timing, but I'm looking at time in a different aspect. Like, um, so in my neighborhood, you see a lot of elderly people walking, right? And they're you know, they're walking it out, they're jogging it out, you know. Um, and it, it kinda hurt my heart a little bit to see that you know, as young people, sometimes we take time for granted. You know what I'm saying? Amen. And Amen. and it's like you can see when a person is starting to know that they're coming up in age because, you know, their health habits start to change. But it ain't because they made a choice. It's because, you know, the doctor told them that it, they had to do A, B, and C. So I think that it's so vital that you're even explaining this to us as young, uh, young men and women right now. Like, don't wait until you get up in age to start mm -hmm. making these movements. But if you can, just a <laughs> little bit, just explain found on the importance of even, you know, the the ones that may feel like they're up in age, you know, how important it is for them to still exercise. Like, you think that, okay, you know, I'm older, I, I can't run and I can't walk and I can't, what would you give to them that to get them kind of moving and saying, no, look, there's still life in you. You still have to take care of yourself. What what would you say to those that may be up in age? That's, that's so deep. That's so deep. So I had a client um, this morning who I was talking with. And our session was just about activities. This is no, I cannot script this. It was just about activities. What can you do throughout your day to have fun? Because with quarantine, I'm not going to tell you to just go out and just walk anywhere. No, no, y'all more susceptible to this, to this virus that's going on. So I'm like, what can you do? And she started talking about crocheting. She started talking about going in her backyard. She started talking about, um, just going to her, her, her it's the school that's by her. And she, she doesn't feel uncomfortable going to, I'm like, I'm just writing away. I'm just writing away. I'm like, listen, that made my day because it then shows you that there is still light. There is still something. Now, this person was struggling for about a week or whatnot, this client of mine. And she was like, you know what? I really just, it's, it's getting to me. And I'm like, I hear you. It's like, it's just, it's just this quarantine is getting to me. So if that resonates with somebody that's hearing right now, I would just say to encourage y'all, get yourself some activities. What you like to do. I don't care if you like to to watch uh, Judge Joe Brown, and now we doing some some uh, some push ups or something on the couch or some sit ups or some walking in place. It's something I tell my clients. There's nothing wrong um, with having a TV on and you working out. I used to do that all the time when it comes to like football games and basketball games. Think about Planet Fitness in LA. A lot of times it's, it's TVs there when people are in cardio and whatnot. It helps you get distracted from what you know your body may be going through. So what I would say for like someone who may be uh, more seasoned, is I would say that, um, get right, again, it's a lot of times, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's about uh, <laughs> writing down that vision and making it plain. It still, it's, it's still come down to principles. And I would say that um, having some activities, because yes, the metabolism, is, it slows down once we get older. You know, the bone structure, the bone density, you know, being able to just um, um, recover from certain things, certain falls, certain trips, 
it gets challenging. I'm not going to sit here and say that I, I haven't experienced that through hearing that from my clients. I hear that often. Um, but I would say that one thing that was a breakthrough moment um, that happened even today was her writing down and saying, hey, these are the activities that I'm going to do. Because that, at the end of the day, fitness now became more enjoyable just because I like doing what I'm doing throughout my day. Look how, look how, look how easy, not easy, but look how, how, how well that can be of a paradigm shift. Like I'm no longer just sweating because I'm gardening now. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not doing something I want. It's, it's nice outside. You know what I mean? So now, thank God, it's getting sunny out and it's getting warmer out. So I think that's going to start helping a lot of uh, people as well, being able to just stay in their yard, doing something where they're just walking from grass to grass, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So pretty much you're saying if you want to sing, if you are a singer, just start moving your legs while you sing. You got to get on. crazy with your singing Come and on. make it an activity. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you. I'm sure everybody that is listening have been uh, very, very inspired. I'm hoping that they're more inspired than they were yesterday and that they're even greater inspired to call you and link up with you. Where can we find you? Where... If someone wants to uh, schedule a consultation or come and visit you, what what does that look like? Where would they go? So, yeah, what you can do, well, I'll say I'll do this first. Um, I'll give a link. I'm doing a 21-day, completely free, uh, busy body um, fitness challenge. Free. Ooh. I'm giving workouts. I'm giving nutrition. I know it's just challenging right now. So, um, no, it's no cost. It's no gimmicks. It's nothing. So, 21 days with myself. It starts June 1st. So, what I'll do is I'll, I'll be able to probably put the link under the Yeah, post, give right? it I'm to me. It. I'll make sure I get... Yeah, you can put it right under the post. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll, I'll make sure I put that link in there. And um, if you're on Instagram, it's Fit With Ish. If you're on um, Facebook, it's Fit With Ish. It's spelled F-I-T-W-I-T-I-S-H. So either one of those platforms, you can definitely feel free to reach me on. But I would definitely say, um, if you're looking for a trainer, that's something that you can definitely do. I have a website, fitwithish.com. If you want to see more like social proof and testimonials, um, that's something you can do today. But as far as the 21 days, something you can do is start soon, free of cost. I would definitely say June 1st will be that day. And I'll put that link in. Woo! I'm excited. I'm signed up. Look, I'm, I'm about to go sign up right after this. Make sure you got my name on the list because I want to be on there. So those of you that have tuned in today, again, we thank you so very much. Listen, June 1st is it, okay? It starts June 1st, so you want to get your name on that list. Go to fitwithish.com. Make sure you on there. It's free, y'all. It's, it's free. free. Okay. It's free. Um, I want to uh, go ahead and encourage all of uh, our listeners to write a review if you like what you have heard so far um, and you've been back and listened to other episodes. Please go ahead and write a review for the podcast and just show that you love it, you're enjoying it. Let us know something. You can leave a comment, uh, you know, whatever it is that you have a question. Let us know. We just want to see you, okay? We want to see you. So we are encouraging all of you to go ahead and write a review and give this a big five stars if you feel it in your spirit. It, okay if you don't then hold on until you feel it all right <laughs> um there has been a lot of people i'm just doing a few housekeeping things there have been a lot of people who have partnered um with anchor anchor is the podcast that got me started um so you have an opportunity to partner with them as well through anchor so if anybody is inspired to do such please um go ahead and go to anchor and anchor will show you how to get this thing uh set up i'm hoping that fit with ish will start him up one right so we can follow him because he got some good nuggets okay <laughs> he got some good stuff brother thank you so very much this has been an awesome awesome time with you i know what you do um but i think i know a little bit more now like i feel like i got a little you know extra you know information thank you so much um uh, for giving us all of your knowledge um and the key things he said guys he said one know your whys Two, make sure that you um, write down uh, your habits. We got to challenge those habits. And three, make it fun, y'all. Make it fun and get the knowledge, okay? Get the knowledge. Thank you, Ishmael Cox. We love you. We appreciate you. And you keep soaring. Thank you so much. This has been amazing. Listen, keep doing what you're doing. I love how you're making this relatable. Your ministry is so relatable Thank with you. God and how he's using you. I'm just... I'm, it's, it's amazing to be a part of it. Thank you so much. All right, until next time, we'll see you next time on Fighting the Good Fight. Have a good one.